Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to install and set up MongoDB database server on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS by following its official documentation. So let's get started. At first, open your favorite web browser and browse this URL mongodb.com. Now click on the products menu. I am going to download the MongoDB community edition. Click on this download button. Scroll down and select the version of MongoDB that you want to download. I am going to download the current version of mongodb and then select the platform i am going to select the ubuntu 24.04 lts okay now select the package from this drop down list i am going to download the server package finally click on this download link it may take a while for downloading mongodb debian package after a successful download go into the download folders and open in terminal okay now i am going to install mongodb server using this command sudo dpkg hyphen i and then write the package name within the dot dev extension hit enter now enter the password for this user it may take a while for installing mongodb server Now verify the installation, simplify it, mongod hyphen hyphen version, that's it. MongoDB version 8.0.0 installed successfully. Now I am going to download the MongoDB shell. expand tools and select mongodb shell scroll down and select the version i am going to download the latest version of mongodb shell and then select the platform i am going to download it for debian or ubuntu operating system then select the package select debian package click on the download link it may take a while for downloading mongodb mongoosh package now go back to the terminal and write this command again to install mongodb mongoosh package hit enter it may take a while now verify the installation simply write mongoosh simply write mongoosh command that's it mongodb shell installed successfully now i am going to open mongodb shell using this command mongoosh if you get the mongo network error 
you should exit this terminal and reopen now check the mongodb server status using this command mongodb server is inactive at first start the mongodb server using this command enter the password for the specified user now check the server status that's it mongodb server is active and running now i'm going to open mongodb shell that's it now i'm going to create a database on mongodb server from mongodb shell by following its official documentation once you have access to a cluster via the mongodb shell you can see all the databases in the cluster that you have access to using the show dbs command write show dbs here you will see the existing database into the mongodb server note that admin and local are databases that are part of every mongodb cluster there is no create command in the mongodb shell in order to create a database you will first need to switch the context to a non-existing database using the use command i am going to create a new database I'm going to name it my new DB okay note that for now only the context has been changed if you enter the show device comment again the result should still be the same check that but i already have created a new database named my new db not in this list mongodb only creates the database when you first store data in that database this data could be a collection or a document to add a document to your database use the db collection dot insert command db dot write the collection name i am going to name it students collection insert you can copy this if you get deprecation warning collection dot insert is deprecated use insert one insert many or bulk write so i am going to insert another record into the students collection using insert one that's it collection can be created just like databases by writing a document to them they can also be created using the create collection command now if you run the show dbs command you will see your database
that's it there one more thing how did the insert command know to put the data into my new DB database it turns out that when you enter the use command then my new DB become the current database on which commands operate to find out which database is the current one enter the DB command now I am going to choose to the admin database now write the DB command that's it the DB command displays the name of the current database to choose to a different database type the use command and specify that database now I am going to download and install mongodb compass mongodb compass is a graphical user interface to create and update the data and collections of mongodb server the mongodb graphical user interface compass offers additional functionality like data visualization and performance profiling as well as offering good access to data databases and collections select mongodb compass scroll down select the version that you want to download i am going to download the latest stable version select the platform and then select the package name click on the download link it may take a while for downloading mongodb compass debian package now go into the downloads folder and open in terminal now write this command again write in the package name mongodb compass dot debian package hit enter now enter the password it may take a while for installing mongodb compass now i am going to verify the installation open application launcher and search for mongodb compass that's it mongodb compass installed successfully and a desktop entry has been created okay now i am going to add a new connection go back to the terminal and exit now write this command mongoose here this is the current mongoose log id and this is the connecting url this is the port number here this is the same url okay now i am going to name the new connection then click on connect button to connect the mongodb server from mongodb compass graphical user interface instead mongodb shell here you will see the all the databases within the newly created database okay now i am going to add a new record into the students collection from mongodb compass
now click on the insert button that's it the new record has been created now i am going to update this record so click on this pencil icon now i am going to change the age now click on the update button to update the age value that's it you can open the mongodb shell from the mongodb compass click on the open mongodb shell button i am going to display all the databases that's it if you are uh, new to this channel subscribe this channel and like comment share thank you so much for watching this tutorial